These storms are very busy times for CHP officers, tow truck drivers and those public works crews, all of them getting a break from the rain right now. But as Adam was just talking about, there's a lot more coming our way. In Midtown Sacramento, we found the claw working through the final hour of daylight, getting leaf piles picked up so the rainwater has a clear path to the storm drains. And while the claw was racing daylight and weather, drivers also seemed to be racing. And on the wet pavement, that proves dangerous. We asked that you slow down. At the same time, we were speaking with CHP officer Rodney Fitzhugh. The online dispatch log listed multiple active accident scenes in the Sacramento area. Officer Fitzhugh reminds us we have to adjust our habits for the wet conditions. It's going to take you more time to stop or slow down prior to hitting the vehicle in front of you. We're also seeing that people just aren't allowing proper spacing between their vehicle and the vehicle in front of them. He also talked about the importance of avoiding distractions and planning for extra travel time in the rain. Traffic was okay until I got to downtown Sacramento. Michelle Riddick tells us it took her about an hour to get from Vacaville to the Monday night Kings game, sharing the rainy road with some unsafe drivers. So you just have to take your time and, and learn how to work around those folks. The walk from the car to the arena also presents challenges in this weather. There's flooding over here walking. Most people we spoke with downtown are simply happy to see the rain. The amount of rain we got, we can expect it to rain threes down all day throughout the game as well. So it's worth it. Hopefully it'll be worth it. And a final word about getting home safely in the wet weather. The CHP reminds us it's not just how you drive, but the condition of your vehicle that makes a difference. Your brakes are maintained, your headlamps are maintained, that you have good windshield wiper blades. And a good rule of thumb is if your windshield wipers are on, then your headlights should be on. It's the law. Another reason to be extra careful in this weather, potholes. You can't always see them. Sometimes there's water covering them, but Caltrans is responding to reports of a large pothole tonight on I-80 eastbound near the Reed Avenue exit in West Sacramento, and that was apparently causing a lot of tire blowouts. Something else to be aware of. Live in Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Dennis Shanahan, Fox 40 News.